Avengers. Let's start the podcast. Hulk smash. Welcome to Bedroom Sessions. I'm Caleb. Oh, that's looks. And I'm Gratata Tanner. <laughs> How's it going? <laughs> what? I kind of uh, hate that, but ooh, oh well. I, like, I liked it. I don't know what you're talking about. Everybody else has a thing to say with theirs, so I, I threw up. Gratata I think you should Tanner. keep searching, but it's nice for this yeah. episode. <laughs> Welcome to episode eight of Bedroom Sessions. Dude, eight episodes a day. We've made it so far. They say most uh, podcasts don't make it out of the sixth episode. Or maybe that's six months for a restaurant. I don't know. Who says that? <laughs> I don't know. I think that's for a restaurant. Okay. I made it up. Okay. Don't judge me. I made it up. Sounds legit, though. Yeah. All right. Well, today we are, this is our part two to comic book movies. We are ranking the MCU, the Marvel Cinematic Universe. And if um, you don't know what the Marvel Cinematic Universe is, it's like Comic Con, but actually, the people that are at Comic Con, they make a movie. And, uh, Hold on. <laughs> and that's yeah. what it is. Hold on. I, I got to rant about something real Before quick. we start talking about Before movies. Before we start talking about movies, I got to talk about a little something. So, uh, we're at the movies the other night, and uh, the Pitch Perfect 3 trailer comes on, right? And looks, looks like a good one. Hmm? <laughs> <laughs> no. So this guy, this this one guy I thought it'd be really funny to get up and shake his head and walk out of the movie theater. You want to know what this guy did? <laughs> he got up, shook his head, was walking out, was looking real cool, real funny. It was like a really good joke. Oh, yeah. and then he tripped and fell into somebody's chair. <laughs> that person was, was Tanner. Tanner really. Really cool. <laughs> I was like, ah, oh, well, I kind of need to use the restroom, and what better time than during Pitch Perfect 3, and I can also be funny and make my friends laugh by shaking my head, being like, oh, this is terrible, I'm not watching this. And then the little space in between our row's walkway and the row in front of us, I did not know it existed because it was very dark, and so I stepped into it, and uh, oh man, felt pretty good. The funniest really part bad. was him slamming in the back of some dude's <laughs> chair in the front of the row. Like I just looked at that guy and I was like, "Oh no, <laughs> oh no!" The guy he didn't do anything. He, 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 he didn't, didn't. He didn't acknowledge you, which was cool. He he didn't get mad or anything. Yeah, I felt well. He shouldn't be because it was an accident. I well, wouldn't yeah. like. I felt really bad because I, I was on the end of the row. So when you got up, I saw your face of pure embarrassment, <laughs> <laughs> and then I heard like five people in the row behind us kind of chuckling at it, and I was just like, oh no, he's not coming. I back. thought about just leaving and going <laughs> to the eight thirty showing. I thought it was movie. a joke. Yeah, it was not a joke. Uh, yeah, I <laughs> thought you were just trying to do it to be funny. No, because I, like, I do that a lot. Like I'll fake fall or something. Right. I'm McFallen. Yeah, it was. I got genuinely concerned when you didn't come back until the, the like the movie was starting. It was yeah. the, like the last preview. I was like, "Oh no, where's Tanner? I'm gonna have to go find this kid." Well, because I got out into the light and I was like, "Man, that was painful." And then I looked down and there was just like blood dripping down <laughs> oh, my geez. leg, and I was like, "Ugh, that's not good." I thought I was gonna have to like come out of the movie theater and out the back doors and just like see you. This is in the fetal position, position in the corner. Like it was painful, but not nearly as painful as the social anxiety of having to walk back into the theater after everyone just watched me fall. Right. So Sorry. I, I just have a knack for falling at movie theaters, apparently, because uh, a while back we were going to another movie and there's a little like a stand. Have you I forgot <laughs> about this. <laughs> oh, my goodness. There's a little stand oh, yeah. with pamphlets in it, like hundreds of pamphlets. pamphlets. And so I was, like, trying to be funny, and I was walking backwards, like, all right, here's your ticket, here's your ticket, and then immediately just, bam, oh. knock into it, and it, so they go pamphlets. everywhere. I left. I'm, everyone I'm a, left. No, everyone left don't say that like you're by yourself, you're the only bad guy. No, everybody no, that was <laughs> with us left, and a family coming out of a movie was like, let's help this poor idiot. <laughs> Who just fell? I was honestly I, laughing well, so hard. I got my ticket like first, so I was like past you, and you were still handing out tickets. And then I heard something, and then I looked behind me, and there's and just lots of pamphlets. And I was just what, like, "Okay, Ooh. so I'm on the ground still, and I turn around to get up and start picking these things up. And I look, and I see you and Ricky, <laughs> and you're just laughing at me. And I'm like, well, there's no uh, denying that this happened. Yeah, I remember so. Lucas was up like going to the bathroom, mm -hmm. and me and Ricky were still grabbing our tickets from me, and you fell, and me and Ricky just laughed at you. Yeah, it was good not, times, not good a good times. feeling. I want to say that I left you because I had to go to the bathroom, but no. You didn't. No, I didn't. I just left because it was funny. 
So third time's a charm. I think it's like about every six months that I knock something over or fall in a movie so, uh, theater. This next so. one's going to be good, though. Yeah, it's Whatever the third it one, so it's going to be banging. Yeah. So uh, the, <laughs> the third in the uh, trilogy coming out January 2018. Be is ready. It, is it going to end at the tril- trilogy? or? Uh, uh, the way I am, I'm going to guess no. <laughs> yeah, you can leak into the Star Wars premiere. You think that could happen then? It's a little early, but I'm going to try it. Yeah. All right. I'll slip into the butter, turn the butter on, and it's like <laughs> s- I try to get up and start slipping everywhere. That yeah. would be so funny. <laughs> that would be the best one yet. I wouldn't leave that one. <laughs> yeah. That's damn one. Oh, yeah. I'd be like, oh, yeah, let's. Oh. What's going on? Yeah. All right. Well, <laughs> let's go ahead and start this ranking of the MCU with number 16. Um, Howard the Duck. <laughs> <laughs> uh, alternative title of Thor The Dark World <laughs> <laughs> Those are the same movies? What? Mm-hmm. Yeah Because um, they're both bad I mean Not bad But in terms of Marvel Suicide Cinematic Squad, Universe Suicide Squad better though <laughs> I'm going to give a Suicide Squad better though rating uh, On all these movies And guess what? Suicide Squad better though <laughs> <laughs> Yeah Suicide Squad is not better no. though um, no. I, Like I like Pretty much all of the MCU movies. I like. I don't think there's a bad one, right? But there's some that aren't very good. Yes. And Thor: The Dark World is absolutely one of those movies. I absolutely agree. I don't. Um, absolutely, thank you. I don't remember much about it. I try to push it out of my mind. Cause um, I remember very little of it. I remember Malekith. I remember it just that just being weird. Not fun. Like. It's kind of sad because I like I Thor as a character no, a lot. You said it right. I just forgot how stupid that movie was. Yeah. It's it's, it's kind of sad because Thor is like a cool character. I like Thor a lot. I'm I'm thinking Thor Ragnarok, the new movie we'll that's coming him, out we'll in November, bring him back a little bit. Yeah. is is gonna give him actually a really good movie because yep. uh, it looks it looks fantastic. I think Tom Hiddleston helps those movies out a lot. That's the thing is they I think they use him as a crutch. Yeah. Should, for those it movies. should really be like a Thor and Loki movie rather than a Thor movie. Hopefully, Thor lo- and Loki's Great Road Trip or something like that. Yeah. Yeah. I'd be I'd watch that. So would I. <laughs> I, I, I think, think they do make a road trip in the new one, though. They go to New York, right? Yeah. So that's what it looks like. I want to see a movie of Thor and his roommate from the trailers before. I was gonna say that <laughs> I'd rather watch that than Thor: The Dark World again. Yeah, was those commercials. If they had like a full length, uh, little documentary thing of him and. Uh, I can't remember the guy's name. But I don't remember his name. It was pretty funny. It was funny. I appreciate it. Yeah. I just did not enjoy that but movie that, that much. That's last on our list just because. That's <coughs> that's the one where the doctor's crazy and he's running around in his underwear? Yeah. Yep, that's it. I just want to say. That's because Loki messed with his mind. Yeah, before so before we go any weird. further, I just want to say this is our opinion. We compiled this list, us three, of what we think is the MCU. So if you disagree, we fully accept that. We just want to say that this yeah, is Yeah, because we, we disagreed when we were making this. Yeah, yes, we, we did. did. We, we It was hard to come to a consensus. We, we had to, in the end, just do a poll and then the average, whatever average. And then right. we had a tie. Yep. And then we had to argue for a while. Yeah. <laughs> but so I, don't get too I've angry if one of your favorite movies doesn't yeah. make like, the top ten or the top five. Because <laughs> one of my favorites that I like a lot isn't even in the top twelve. So. Tell me which one that is when we get to it. Oh, I will. Okay. So, <laughs> all, right. all right, let's move on to number 15. Iron Man 2. <laughs> <laughs> I was afraid you were going to forget the two. No, no I, don't re- I don't remember a ton about Iron Man 2, but... Um, That's the one with Whiplash, right? Yeah. Oh, okay. Not now very good. Now you know why it's number two. Yes. <laughs> yeah. that now I know why it's down, down on, on the list. That one's just bad. It's really not very I think, good at all. Um, the coolest part of that movie is his suitcase suit that he had. Yeah, that and was then, pretty neat. And you were like, "Oh, that's neat." And then was after that, three? that, no, that was, that was two. Oh, okay. like he's on the racetrack oh, and Whiplash. Comes okay, and that Sorry. was when yeah. War Machine got introduced. So that's also pretty dope. Yeah, I do like War Machine. Well, <laughs> yeah, you're right. Yeah, and they changed the actors for that, so that was a big thing. To Don Cheadle, and yes. I'm a big Don Cheadle fan. Yeah, he was in Hotel Rwanda. Yeah, good movie. Yeah. Yep. But I, I, the I think the villain, yeah, was what made that movie not good. I think you're right. Mickey Rourke's face, is one of the hardest things to look at. <laughs> I would agree. I just that movie uh, did introduce Black Widow though, so who cares? Oh really? All right. 
It so really did? It's yeah. not number one? I did one? not remember that. Wrong. <laughs> <laughs> You're wrong. <laughs> it's Caleb's face right now. Hey. Oh, wrong. man. Okay. Uh, yeah, I can't remember much about it. I remember, it like, the kind of the end battle of them fighting, and I don't remember where they fought, but I remember Iron Man and War Machine being back-to-back, and I thought that was kind of cool, but... Oh, yeah, that's at the expo where they have the yeah. the suits. They're fighting all the other suits. See, I thought that even, was kind of neat. Even in the not great um, there's still Marvel movies, there's, there's really, yeah, good yeah, moments really good moments in, in their movies. And I think that's what, I think is, what we're is talking the problem, about the, is that they the have good pieces and they don't always finish. That's what we talked about on the last episode, the DC movies. A lot of those movies didn't have that epic moment that made you go, oh. Yeah, but a lot of these do. Absolutely. This movie also... Even Thor does. Yeah. yeah, this movie also put Nick Fury in, like in, that, in like not just like a post credit scene. Nick Fury was actually in the f- regular right. movie. Right. So that was his first kind of go at it, even though he was in a post credit scene yeah. previous. And I love some Samuel L. Jackson. Miss that guy. What do you mean you miss Some him? You, are y'all like personal friends, and he hasn't <laughs> dropped by for a while? Yeah, he's been too busy with Ryan Reynolds. Nah. Yeah. Oh yeah, that movie that's coming out. Yeah. He, when was the but last I, time he, he was? He also movie. hasn't been in a, in a Marvel movie in a while. Well, let's be honest, I I ditched you to hang out with Ryan Reynolds. Was he in Civil War? No, no, he wasn't in Civil War. Last one he was in was in the mm. one. Uh, Ultron, wasn't it? No, was he in Ultron? Yeah, I think so. Because yes, at yes. the at the farm, there at the farm. Yeah, yeah, he was at the farm. Farm. What guy's farm? But I think that was the last one though. Yeah, it's been a minute. That sounds right. Yeah, I know. But he's a good character, and so I I can appreciate that the Iron Man two introduced good characters. It's just yeah. not in a good movie. No, agreed. And it's cool that in Iron Man two, Peter Parker, Spider Man. Yeah, yeah, ah. yeah well, was in that movie. I mean, years later they decided to say, yeah, that little kid with the Iron Man mask that was that, that was, was Peter Parker, who's right. Spider Man. But I I I appreciate that. Good Easter Even egg if you Marvel. go back. Yeah. It's an Easter egg now. It wasn't an Easter egg back then. It was, it was just, just like, the kid. what's this kid well, with the Iron Man? I thought that was like a theory for like people have had for like <laughs> years. And then they just were like, go ahead. Marvel and like, probably oh, yeah. read it and they were like, you know what? You know what? Let's go ahead and give him that. Let's do that. Let's give him that. Why not? Same with the 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 post credit scene in Guardians 2 with the Watcher being hanging out with Stanley. Oh, that yeah. That's yeah, another yeah. payoff for um, all that time that everyone's theorized that. Yeah. Did you see my. All right. Yeah, let's move on to number fourteen, which is the first Thor movie. Thor! Wow, <laughs> I'm feeling a little Thor <laughs> in my <laughs> little Thor in my in my hammies. My De- hammies are a little Thor. Dedica- <laughs> How many gigabytes of dedicated wham? Dedicated wham. 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 Um. Yeah. I I I've, I've seen like this one Thor a lot one. of times. It's low on the list, but I, I like the first Thor. I think it's okay. That I like Natalie Portman. Yeah. It's got Kat Dennings in it. It's got the scientist guy. It's got a good overall you know, supporting cast of all the heroes. I don't remember any of their names, but yeah. the heroes. And it was and the... F- it was Idris Elba's in it. Mm-hmm. And I like it. I, like yeah. I, I liked how it was uh, well-contained. Like, a lot of these movies are huge universe. Thor, yeah, he's from Asgard, Asgard. But the fact that it was he came down to Earth to a, t- a little town in New Mexico, right? Yeah, and that's uh, that's where the movie set. Yeah. And I thought that was just cool. That is that cool. it was they took a larger than life character and placed him in middle of nowhere, vanished. Yeah. And that was it. It was cool. I agree. Absolutely. It was a cool redemption story for our hero. Yeah. I, what, what I, th- well, I think it was more of like him finding himself because in the beginning of the movie he's kind of like a war monger wants to fight all the time and in this yes. movie he's finding patience. Because Odin bans him to Earth, correct? Yes. Okay. Odin's okay. like, yeah. you started the war with the... Uh, I forget ice, what they're called. The ice, ice people. The, the White Walkers? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Starts to fight with the White Walkers. And, uh, <laughs> Wrong. <laughs> 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 oh, man. But... Yeah, then he's he's like, okay, I need to find myself, figure out what yeah. my purpose is. and It's protecting people, I think, is what ended yeah. up being. Protecting Midgard, a.k.a. Yeah. Earth. B- 
people. Becoming a good king is what that was a good redemption story. Is what that was. Yeah. So that's why I like Thor. I like redemption stories. It's good. Yeah, I definitely. I see. It's this is number fourteen. It's third from the bottom. Yeah, and it's yeah, still, it's still, still a, a good, good movie. movie. Yeah, it's not us saying it's bad. It's it's a good movie. The way we kind of thought about this and making the list is like, you know, would you want to watch this movie before any of the other movies? And on the list, yeah. There are just so many good movies that Thor didn't make it high up there. So yeah. Thor is shorter than some of the ones above it. Maybe we should have got <laughs> less time of watching yeah. a movie you don't want to watch. But yeah, it was. I I enjoyed it. Uh, what were the villains in that? The bad guys? Was Loki was just okay. The bad it was guy. just Loki. I just remember the big robot with the melty eyes. Yeah, but that was like a like defense thing for Asgard. Yeah. Yeah, he tricks it because Loki becomes the king, so yeah. he yeah. uses it against Thor and sends it to kill Thor. And it was the first um, first time we saw the Infinity Gauntlet. It was a little yeah. Easter egg in so. Odin's vault. Yeah. So also the first time we saw Hawkeye. Yes, yes, it is. Ah. Yeah, I forgot about that. that was origination of Hawkeye was nice because yeah. he was in the the little he was in like the shield the he shield was contingent. The, he was around yeah. the hammer when yeah. it was down on the ground. They had their tents set up and whatnot. Yeah. Alrighty. But it was a good movie. I right. give it uh, not as good as Suicide Squad, though. <laughs> All these movies are getting that, so I'm just ready for that. broke. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> uh, number 13, Tanner. Uh, it is the Hulk movie. Hulk! Is the Hulk. <laughs> are you going to do that for everyone? Are you going <laughs> to steal everyone's thunder by shouting it? I don't Hulk. know what you're talking about. This one it. is the one that's not even in the top 12 that I was talking about that I loved. was the Hulk movie where Hulk. Edward Norton... Was the Hulk before I like they changed Edward it Norton. to uh, Ruffalo? Mark, Mark Ruffalo, yeah. I like Mark. Edward Norton. Oh, I had a meme, but I'm not gonna say it. <laughs> <laughs> um, but it's <clears throat> like I've always been a fan of Hulk, hmm. and I thought they did that movie really well. Yeah. That was really early on, too. Yeah, and so they set up for. This was the second movie in the MCU. Yeah, it was Iron Man and then Hulk, right? Yeah, yeah. And so it's set up for for bigger things, and the his his lady friend I can't remember her name Betty. I remember was it Betty? Uh, yeah, I sure. just couldn't remember her last name. Her dad is in the new ones. Betty Ross. Uh, yes, yeah. yes, Colonel he is. Ross. I'm just hoping for a Red Hulk at some point. That would be very That'd be cool. interesting. Yeah, like I'm ready for them to make a. Uh, another good Hulk uh, movie. Yeah, a good Hulk movie. Or a good he had, Hulk he movie. He hasn't had... Mark Ruffalo hasn't had his standalone Hulk movie mm-hmm. yet. I wonder if it's coming. I feel like but Thor... I feel like after... The new Thor is going to be... After it, Infinity okay. War, they'll Maybe. probably introduce a, a Hulk movie. Hmm. That's what I'm thinking I they're think, going to do. I think he... I know it's hard because he's this character who isn't... Uh, he doesn't talk. He just does grunts. But I think the more you progress him... Like in the comics, he's now, or he, at some point, I know, I don't know where they are in canon now, but he could talk and is intelligent. But as the, Hulk, yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So I think that'd be interesting to see him as an intelligent Hulk. But you then know, again, th- that, that makes him not as good. Because yeah. that's what they said, is since he was using his brain so much and Hulk wouldn't do that, Hulk would just smash everything. Mm-hmm. That made him not as good of a, of a fighter or stuff like that. Right. Yeah, maybe they maybe him being away on that planet wherever he is, you know, well, wherever he is, he could be in the ocean or he could be wherever. Yeah, maybe he developed but some uh, sort of way to talk. Getting yeah. back to the, the movie, mm-hmm. it's like it was okay. The uh, villain for that was kind of weird. Abomination. It was, uh, well, yeah, Abomination it was Colonel was Ross, and then he mm-hmm. made Abomination. Right. They they s- <laughs> Do you remember when they set it up for uh, a sequel? That never happened. Yes. The um, the radiation dripped onto a cut on uh, one guy's head, and it made the leader in the comic books, and and, <laughs> and his head just grew extremely huge. <laughs> it looks so goofy, oh and it never paid off because no. they haven't done another Hulk movie. So. I haven't seen that movie in a long time, but I kind of like how they did how he becomes the Hulk. It was just his heart rate instead of him being angry. Yeah, I thought that was it was different. But yeah. it was, it was interesting that he has journey. to kind of just like stay calm all the time, no matter what's happening. And you know, in Avengers, they're like, "That's my secret. I'm always angry." 
And I forgot that in that this thing. movie, at the very end, he learned how to control it in order to yeah. become the Hulk. Because like, he was meditating in that cabin by himself. Yeah. And so he got his heart rate up, and then yeah. he became the Hulk. Cause Edward he's, Norton. He's trying yeah. to control it. Because he became the Hulk, and then he got really big, and then he came back down, and his face was messed up, and he looked like Mark Ruffalo instead. <laughs> there you go. Sure. It's just that's what happened. Yeah, that's yeah. my... They never tried to explain it. They don't care to explain it. Same thing with, with Rhodey. Because mm. it was kind of short-sighted at the beginning. Yeah. Not Maybe not short-sighted, because they had a plan, but the fact that maybe those actors didn't have the plan to be in this for the rest of their lives. Yeah. Yeah. Because, I mean... Mark Ruffalo was okay with that. Yeah, he's like, money? Yes, please. I'd be okay with that. I'd be the Hulk. I'd for be the real? Hulk for a lot less than he's being the I'd Hulk be for. I'd be in a <laughs> lot of Captain America infomercials if I was making that Absolutely. much money. Absolutely. Oh. Yeah, I agree. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Mm-hmm. All right. Number 12. Lucas? What is, what is it? Uh, Iron Man 3! <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm going to have to stop you there. <laughs> Why did everyone stop talking? <laughs> you said stop us there. Yeah, but I didn't have anything to say past that. Oh, oh. Well, Iron Man three. Uh, I d- I don't like this movie. I don't know why it's. Tell him. Like movie. Tell him the story. The villain's stupid. No. Oh, of my. Oh, yeah. oh. Yeah, you gr- know. Yeah, I know what you're talking about. Actually, I changed my mind. I love this movie because this just movie. Just because this happened. <laughs> just because this happened. So. I'm so excited right now. We, we're going to the movie theater, with. Uh, our, our youth pastor. And this was the first movie we, we started this whole thing. Yes. Uh, we go to the movie theater. It's packed. You know, it's one of the midnight things where tons of people are going. We're sitting pretty close to the front. Um, we're watching the first part of this movie. And uh, something happens that the screen just goes black after, like, the first 20 minutes. And me being the comedic genius that I am, yelled... Well, that was a good movie, and the entire <laughs> movie theater died, bro. <laughs> did it really? It was the they, best moment <laughs> of my life. Dude, I felt so proud. I was sitting in my chair. I was just like, you know what? I'm going to sit up a little bit more because I People need to see me. Fantastic. You should have stood up you and just, like, just like, yeah. That's me. I that would've. was me. That's and so that's why I love that movie. That's but amazing. <laughs> that, that movie's bad, though. That movie <laughs> that's not a soft good movie, spot though. in your heart, though. Yeah, for, for real. Like, I is. think at that moment, I'm like, mm, yeah, that's cool. I'm, I'm a cool guy. I'm really funny. Well, that's awesome. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> good. Yeah, we don't need to talk about this anymore. Uh, <laughs> Forget the movie. That's you know what? Yeah. This is number one because of that moment. Now it was um, the character that was that became the villain villain in this one. Yeah, that was. He's stupid. like some little nerdy guy, and then he's like, "Now I'm handsome because I have the monies," <laughs> and but I still hate Tony Stark because Tony Stark was. Uh, Inebriated the night I needed to talk to him. Like, dude, just get over it. You made, you still made lots of money. That's the most like and second most petulant, childish thing in the MCU. Second most. I know exactly. What the <laughs> you first know what number is. one is. Yes, I do. Um. Anyway, I didn't like the villain. How they like changed it from one of the com- I forget the person's name though. Uh, the main villain. Killian. No, nope. oh, but like. Like, I don't know. The Mandarin? Yes. The Ma- oh, yeah. Because they made Killian Trevor the Mandarin. Trevor Slattery? Yeah, they made that guy the Mandarin when the Mandarin was just like a meme, and that's actually <laughs> supposed to be like a really big character. Well, yeah, well. He's a really big character. The thing is, uh, they didn't want to make a racist Asian stereotype out of the Mandarin, which is what he is in the comics, or was. Right. Because I, I, I haven't read Marvel stuff lately, mm-hmm. so I don't know what he's doing now. But that's what they made it in... The 40s for uh, Japan's bad, so let's let our kids know that and propaganda. Aha. Uh-huh. So that's probably uh, the way they went in order to be as safe as possible. Right. Uh, but honestly, if they hadn't have made him like an actor playing a part and just left him as that bad guy and just have Killian like running the operation for him or whatever, because mm-hmm. like those videos were still. Like the real, th- those real, like, th- and they were like, "Oh, this guy's actually terrifying America." I mean, they could have left Iron him Man as that. One is that guy not a terrorist? Did that movie not come out like around? Yeah, but I don't think he was culturally insensitive as okay. the Mandarin. As is. like, well, th- uh, this Mandarin that they had wasn't vi- like 
he was a guy playing a part, but it wasn't yeah. like super culturally you, offensive. He wasn't like right. What a, an so Asian if they had done, so what you're saying is if they had done that exact same character, just not make him, him actually they, be the bad guy. Him actually yes. be the bad guy rather than being this whole joke like, oh, we're just playing a part to throw you off a trailer or whatever. Yeah, I don't uh, think it would have been as bad. Yeah, no, I would have yeah. preferred like an actual version, but that also sets up for maybe them to actually have a good version of it. Mm-hmm. Someone like takes inspiration, like, oh, I'm gonna be the Mandarin. I'm gonna actually be this. Yeah. Wow, uh-huh. Caleb, that's a good idea. Did I'm sorry. It copycat. <laughs> right? <laughs> and he, they team him up with Whiplash. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, even better. Yeah. Uh, no. That's what, even though they're never making another Iron Man movie, I hope. That's the problem with Iron Man is he doesn't have a good rogues gallery. He doesn't have... I can't name a villain that he has. W- Iron Man? Yeah. Iron Man has a good, or he yeah. he doesn't have a good no. rogues gallery. He doesn't have good good villains. The villains? No, he doesn't. Even the first villain, where it was kind of a twist. Warmonger. Like, oh, it was him. Was it he's war- in the original Iron big Monger. suit. Iron Monger. Sorry. Or he's like in a replica, not really a replica, but like a remastered version of the yeah. original suit, which is kind of cool. Uh, by Bethesda, Mark One remastered. Yeah. yeah. You can have Skyrim on your potato next year. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, um. Yeah, he doesn't have really good villains because, like, two, lackluster. The first one was probably the best one that I'd say because the third one, bleh, yeah, didn't like that villain at all. Third one was terrible. Uh, his best villain is Captain America. Honestly, <laughs> honestly, yeah. yeah, in the movies, yeah. Mm-hmm. So, and that's the problem with those movies, in my opinion, is that they don't have strong enough. I don't. The villains just aren't strong enough, yeah. like or interesting we'll get to enough. That. Especially They're because in that they'll have movie dumb that motives. About, yeah, they all have really dumb motives. Anyway, continuing on. Uh, number, number eleven. Age, Age of, Ult- of Ultron. <laughs> I swear, if I have to say one more, and you just ruin it for me, Go I'm ahead. walking out of this podcast. Go ahead, man. Just go say, say it real quick. Number eleven. Age of Ultron. <laughs> <laughs> It's Age of Ultron. <laughs> the Avengers, the second Avengers. You know, I'm going to say it. I don't care that you broke your elbow. I'm going to say it. This movie was it's definitely... It's all right. It was all right. But it was definitely... It was all right. It wasn't on par with the first... I like that yeah, they Avengers. introduced Vision. That was cool. Yes. I agree. Um, Ultron. And yes. Scarlet Witch and... Scarlet Witch. Quicksilver. Yeah. And Rest Quicksilver. in pieces. Rip Quicksilver. Spoilers. Yeah. Rest in pieces. He's dead. He got he got Swiss cheese, he bro. He got blasted. Yeah. It's okay because he's alive in the X-Men universe. It's cool. Excuse me. Yes. You are the fastest man alive. <laughs> How are you going to get shot? No, nope. he's not Barry Allen. Okay. You're right. But he he has the same son. He's the Marvel version set. of Barry Allen. I think they killed him off so they didn't have to compete with the X-Men Quicksilver. Yes. Because... That was the one good thing in those movies was the Quicksilver sequences. Truth. So they're like, ah, well, this gotcha. guy's not going to be nearly as likable as that version, so let's I mean, kill him off. all right for the little bit. I thought he was fine. Uh, me too. You didn't see that coming? <laughs> <laughs> okay. the, I didn't see that coming. Um, Hawkeye's Farm, best part of this movie by far. You know why? Where, uh, um, what's your face? Uh, uh, Jonathan Jacobo. Jonathan Jacobo. Is this, uh, is Cardinelli, wife? Lisa Cardinelli. That's her name, yeah. Velma from Scooby Doo. Velma from Scooby Doo, and the girl from Freaks and Geeks. She's oh, uh, yeah, she's on New Girl. Yeah, she is. Yeah, yeah. but she's also in Avengers: Age of Ultron. <laughs> yes, she is. Because uh, ooh, the part where where uh, uh pa- mm, Eye Patch Man, he's like not dead. <laughs> Nick Fury. Oh, Nick Fury. <laughs> yeah. I, 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 I don't know why I lost him. We just talked about him, and I was like. <laughs> Mm, I can't think of his name. <laughs> I like how you did the shoulder roll of the "Hey, I'm a pizza." I'm <laughs> hey, I'm an eye patch man, <laughs> and I'm, I'm an eye patch man, it. and I'm not killing I'm it because I'm not. I don't dead. know your name. Yeah. yeah. Well, the I thought it was my. You go, go ahead. No, 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 no. You guys go ahead. Age of Ultra. Oh, oh, okay. Wait, okay. <laughs> but I thought um, the first one was getting them to work together, and this one was more of them. Yes, this was. They, I think they tearing were them apart, setting them up bit. for a civil war. You know. Yeah. And what I also I didn't like about this movie is. Uh, oh. You just not getting that? Yeah, you no. just got that. No, I was just saving it. I don't know if I wanted to use it or not, but okay. that was a nice, oh. nice tie-in. 
Because we were on the same wavelength. Yeah, but anyway. All of us were. Um, what was I saying? Oh. Ultron in the comic books is like this big bad. He's really cool. And then James Spader. Robert California, everyone, <laughs> is Ultron. And it's just kind of like, eh? Like, eh, hey, okay. I, I think his voice performance was fine. Good. But I think that they screwed him up by just making him an army of bots. Because that's what they've done with both Avengers movies is... Armies. we got to fight an army of something. Well, instead they, need, of they need things to be able to... Punch. They, yes. They, they, the need, they, they can't just have one villain, because if they, they only have will, one... They will, though. That's, that's what, what Infinity War is That would be. be so lit. Well, that thing, that's why they're, <laughs> they're doing that. I don't even think they're that doing that. I really for the, I think no. I, Thanos I'm hoping army, for sure. somehow Thanos kept every villain alive, and they're all going to come back and fight including every Red villain. School. Inco- Red including Red School. The coolest villain. What? I said the coolest villain. Oh, I thought you said the clueless villain, and I was like, "Clueless is not a Marvel <laughs> Cinematic no, movie." But for real, but yeah. for real, that'd be I, dope. I think that would be cool, but it would be even that's more reasonable than an army of people having yes. like a group of supervillains that they have to fight. Yes, I can. That's well, but more I think, appealing to me. Well, how did they get the army? Was it Iron Man's army? I'm trying to remember. Like there was just his leftover bots that he had made. Yeah, no, Ultron. Found the secret Hydra base, and Hydra was trying to make something like Ultron, and uh-huh. so Ultron created a million things of himself. Ah, okay. Almost licked the microphone. Sorry. That's okay. But yeah, I, I wasn't bad. It wasn't bad. I like them. I mean, they have to work together, even though they're kind of already on their way apart. They always find a way to win, which is good. I think Avengers was like introducing characters of all of them in one movie, them, them not working out well in the beginning, and then at the end they finally all come together and Cap becomes like, you know, they're him and... Language! Man, <laughs> him and Iron Man are obviously uh, team captains and uh, yeah. co-captains. 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 Until, until they, they split up heads. for some dodgeball. Split up. Yeah. yeah. That'd be a funny video. Just thinking about that. Thor and Hulk didn't get picked. Anyway, <laughs> it was all right. It was a decent movie. It's still only like number 11, but. On our list. Now. Yes. Dropping into the top 10. Number 10. Watch Mojo. Here Doctor Strange. Dude, that was mine. <laughs> <laughs> Doctor Strange. Sorry, I was. I thought it was. I thought it was Lucas's, so I was trying to uh, steal his. Doctor Strange. Oh, no. It was mine. Yeah, I'm sorry. Hey, uh, Dormammu? I'm coming to bargain. Doctor Strange. Door mommy. Doctor Strange is a good movie. Uh, I think if it were um, in phase one, because it feels very much like a first yes. phase. Oh, it's an origin story. Marvel movie. It's a origin story where a character gets his powers, figures out what he's doing with them, grows but into what he is. Is never that cool, you know? Like I mean, they're in this like one? he never like is like messing people up. He's not the source. Even in like Captain yet. America's first movie, he's like taking dudes out. In Doctor Strange movie, he's like has a cape, is fighting all of his battles. <laughs> well, I mean, That's yeah. the only thing that I. Uh, well, he I know Magic that he's is no, a like a new. Different than super serum. Yeah, like whenever whenever Cap got injected, like he just like yeah I can do this now because that's yeah, what it was yeah. meant to do. Yeah, yeah. but yeah. Doctor Strange Magic, he I mean he trained for what two years in the movie, and he yeah. still was only at the point where he could pretty yeah. apprentice. Still, which I mean that. I'm 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 waiting to see him in the new Thor where he's actually like got some cuz he's, he's supposed to be yeah. from what I know he's supposed to be one of the most powerful in the in the Marvel universe. He become yeah, he becomes a sorcerer supreme, <laughs> which is what the the bald lady was. Yeah. Yeah. So he's obviously going to get his power. I just I'm saying this is his origin movie so it's it's kind of just building him up. Yeah. But I I like I thought the fact that he was not um he didn't really control all of his powers, didn't know all of what he could do. Yeah. Made it that much more enjoyable because that the scene in the Sanctum Sanctorum where he's fighting off Cassilius's people and yep. the cape is helping him mm-hmm. and all that stuff. I thought that was a really fun action sequence. And Especially so since he didn't know what he was doing. Yeah. <laughs> he's just like making stuff up to do like, yeah, let's do it. I will I will talk about that later. I was gonna say something. I was gonna say Spider Man kind of did that as well. Yeah, that he's like 
15. Trying, and trying to figure like, out. Didn't know what exactly. Like you watch Spider Man one, and he's pretty much like a grown a grown man, even though they say he's in high school. He's pretty much like a grown man, yeah. and like can take people out. But this how first Spider Man, he was just not really. How much better would Doctor Strange be if they didn't have that portion of him sulking and being a, just a complete jerk in the movie? In the beginning, it would have been a lot better. I I think uh, it's I necessary. enjoyed that part. It's necessary because that lets you know what kind of person he is up yeah. until that point. Yeah, is a jerk. Yeah, but honestly, they could have done without some of that stuff and explained it just fine. As whenever he went to that place, like, oh, this stuff isn't real. Like, oh, yeah. yeah. So, but he was like extremely whiny, and it just agreed. <coughs> also, the way he crashed was really dumb. Wouldn't he just check in his phone? I don't. I don't remember. I can't remember. It was like yeah, raining, was and he was checking his phone and speeding. He was, he yeah, was he going was really fast when it was, was raining yeah. on a coastal cliff. Like, are you dumb? He was looking. You're at a doctor. Uh, are you dumb? He was looking at uh, files for him to do surgery on. <coughs> and, I, yeah, and that's why he crashed because he was looking at the surgery thing. Which uh, lesson to kids: don't text and drive. Or you might take out somebody's mailbox. Yeah. Or uh, yourself. Your hands. <laughs> I, I guess you have to do the, the him being an idiot while he's driving just shows how cocky and nothing will bad. Especially will how fast he was driving too. Yeah, he was he wasn't driving like slow or anything. Yeah, you know that was yeah. a good a good on Marvel. Don't text and drive. That'll make people think twice. Break all your all your bones. So the more I think about it, the, the more necessary the beginning portion of him being. Terrible is, but I mean, it just makes you. It doesn't endear you to him. No, I don't. I don't know if I didn't like him that. Like, like I like the character, and it's okay. Eventually, but it's not like out of all of the Marvel characters, he's not. He's I the know. second least likable, in my opinion. Who's the least? Iron Man. Oh, I think Tony Stark is. Yeah. even more of a tool. But Doctor Strange, they just released this. Like the same time they did the Spider Man thing, he was like, "How Spider Man was in Iron Man two, Doctor Strange was in Iron Man three, whenever they were removing the reactor thing from his chest, from Iron Man's chest, you know." Yes, he, he was the he was, the he was one of the that. guys working on him. He was He's one of the probably surgeons. the guy working on him. Um, yeah. That's interesting. I like I, you know what, if they're gonna go back and do that, that's fine. I think it's it just even adds cool. To it. Yeah, er. yeah. I know that maybe wasn't their plan from the beginning, but to say it is, it's yeah. cool. I s- yeah. All right. Number nine. It's actually Iron Man. Dear Lord, I was trying to let you steal it for him. Oh, okay. Because I know. Because I, I well, I wanted him I to say see. Iron Man. The board is really far away, and I have to like squint to see that because I'm. Blind. Get your eyes checked, son. That I'm wearing like really thick glasses. Go- <laughs> what? Really okay. thick glasses. All right. Okay. Number nine is Iron Man. Which, you know, well, what are you guys doing putting Iron Man so low? That's what kicked off all of, like, this this <laughs> cinematic universe. That's not enough to get it up higher, though. Yeah. Um, I think it's this low because it's a phase one movie, and phase two and three movies are a lot better now. Cause they because know they found doing. their way, yeah. Yes. They found out what's the only good. reason it's this low, because I like Iron Man 1 a lot. I thought I it was you, a fun I movie. I know you don't really like Tony Stark that much, I, or, like... Robert Downey Jr. Right. in general. I I want characters we to be likable. Oh my goodness, on the roof! Like I just can't stand him. <laughs> <laughs> that was really good. Thanks. Nice I just yeah. I th- oh, gotta go. Like of all the things you could have said, that sorry, <laughs> I'm going <laughs> off on a tangent about yeah. that. I just don't like. I, I don't like him. So for me, this would be a lot lower. But I I respect it as a movie, and I understand. Right. It's a solid movie. I think it was a good, uh, like, starter movie. Because people were like, oh, Robert Downey Jr. is going to be in a superhero movie? What is this? And then, like, people went and saw it. And then it was like, okay, this is a good movie. And then yeah. superhero yeah. movies had a good, like, bar set for them, I think, with Iron Man. Right. And that kicked off the Avengers with the post credit scene. I think that kicked off the post credit scene. Yeah. Epidemic the thing, yeah, you know. pretty much. <coughs> you just know in a Marvel movie you're with, staying after with the with the uh, eye patch man. <laughs> yeah, eye patch guy. That's who it is. Yeah, but Jonathan yeah. Jacob. It. You, you could like tell from the beginning that it was like 
really set up to be part of this bigger universe, and that's what they yeah. had, the idea they had going in. Like the you know the end credit scene stuff, they were setting up the Avenger thing. I think it showed that it could work. Right. Like they yeah. had the idea, and they're like, "All right, let's try it with Iron Man. If this goes well, we can do this." Because you know, like no one's ever had like this big movie mm-hmm. universe that's really connected like this before. Yeah. I mean, there's been like Batman's. Like the older but Batman's and like the other superhero movies before that, but not. But like, they don't like not like push a plan them together. Like phase one, phase two, phase yeah. three. We're building this up. Yeah. yeah. That's what. Um, a little backtracking to my disdain for Iron Man. I think my problem with him in his movies is, I don't, s- I don't see him progress progress as a character. I think he's always this tool. I mean, Spider Man, pretty much the new one. Mm-hmm. He kind of grows up a little. Yeah, but that's and my issue that's like with him. A lot to do with Civil War. Like that's what, like what happened in Civil War made him grow yeah. up a little bit. But I don't. He's still kind of that. Like, you know, I'm this big. I'm Iron I'm, Man. I'm like, the only know, one that matters. Out. We'll uh, talk about that when we get to Civil War because yeah. we'll talk about that. Yeah, but Iron Man again, movie. not a bad movie. Solid good movie. Probably the best Iron Man villain. Probably is the, the first best. One. Yeah. They're not good, but that still was probably still yeah, the best. Iron Man has the worst villains, though. I'm yeah. Be, yeah, we talked we about, talked about this yeah. yeah, they're just not remarkable. There's nothing. Yeah. yeah. All right. Number eight is uh, Ant-Man. <laughs> <laughs> Which, I mean, that's a little low for a movie that I liked a lot. but I, I mean, really like this movie, That too. shows how good the movies are. I, I think it's a really good origin story. I like Ant Man. Usually, you think of Ant Man, and you're like, just being like a general fan. If you think of Ant Man, you're like Ant Man. Who's yeah. that? So a guy that can go tiny. Oh, that's neat. But then there's actually like so much more to that. And it was a really good story. I like how they're introducing Wasp in that. She was really cool. Yeah. It, I forget her name. Evangeline Lilly. Yeah, she's really cool. Oh. She was in the Hobbit. Movies. I thought you were saying Hope Van Dyne. No, that's no. that's her name. Yeah, in the movie, right? Yeah. I can't and remember Nick Fury, but I can remember Hope Van Dyne. It's How did you remember it's that? Because she's a <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. Ay, yeah. Ay, yo. But it was kind of a fun heist movie. Like, it was a different... Yes. It was different. It was because he was, like, an anti-hero, sort of, because he was just a criminal, but yeah. was doing it for, I guess, a good reason, but then actually becomes a hero. A hero. And I think with Ant-Man, him shrinking and stuff like that, it provides for something different and fun. Yeah, like the it the bathroom scene where he's in the tub. Yeah, I mean it's just fun it's just stuff like that. They needed movies like that. I think they needed the character like that because the rest of these have been kind of like I like. There's funny moments and they're usually pretty comedic, but like they're always usually like dramatic and very like heavy. This movie had some like dramatic moments, but it was mostly just a really fun movie, which I think is important to have if you're building. It like wasn't a big the first one to do that though. But we'll get no. to that later. Okay. Yeah. But you're, I, you're right. the fact that Paul Rudd is Ant Man, they cast that so perfectly. I love Paul Rudd as Ant Man, dude. I love Paul Rudd as Paul Rudd. He's Agreed. amazing. He's a funny guy. But mm-hmm. uh, that's what I love him in anything, and the fact that he's in the cinematic universe. Any part he has, I want to watch because in Civil War, was really good. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Number seven is the the Avengers. Oh my god. It's the Avengers. The first Avengers movie. Good movie. Great. I don't even want to talk about it because I'm so mad. (laughs) What are you mad about? Oh my (laughs) lord. (laughs) I thought it was an okay movie. I don't know. Okay. Anyway, (laughs) Avengers. Good movie. Um, It was the first movie to bring a bunch of these big name superheroes into one film. And this is what they were working towards in phase one. For if for four years, they four built years, till yeah. towards this. I mean, the plenty of years before that. but yeah. And it was a satisfying payoff. It was good. It was a good movie. Yeah. I, uh, I like how it's set up for something that we're still waiting to pay off here in like 2017, true. five years later. Phase <laughs> one has this progressing plot, and it like leads up to this thing. Like, oh, yeah, phase two has its own. But then there's whole, this whole big overarching plot. Thanos, the big yeah. villain yeah. over all of it, and he's still just lingering. And they set up for him. He's in that movie. And yeah. so I thought that was so cool. Because he's, he's one of the 
huge characters. I agree. Absolutely, I agree. It's a good movie. I don't, I don't have much to say about this if you haven't seen The Avengers. Well, yeah. come on. They do a lot of infighting. Yeah. And, uh, we kind of already talked team about up. it. Yeah. Like, yeah. yeah. It's, it's the beginning of, of the team. They don't work well together in the beginning, and then they finally become It's the Age a of team. Ultron, and but better. Phil dies. Yes. When Phil fake dies. He has his own TV show now. Congratulations, Phil. They still do they die. still not know? No, no. They, no one knows that he's still alive. He's in uh, space now. That's he what I heard. He actually did die? What? He actually did die, but they did surgery on him to bring him back to life. Yeah. He's in Sounds space fake. now. Phil Coulson. Yeah, Phil Coulson's in, sp- in space. But it really kind of cheapens uh, the fact that he was like, his death was what brought him together in that movie, is the fact that they just brought him back real quick because they were like, they, like, everybody liked that character too much. We can't kill him. Right. I don't know why they did that. Like, they brought gonna, Captain America trading cards. <gasps> if they were going to make this TV show, like... I don't. I, I don't think they did. I don't think they had the plan for Agents of Shields until um, people were like, Coulson, "Hey, we like Phil." Coulson was like someone that everyone was like, "Oh man, he's awesome." Mm-hmm. Yeah, because I mean, in the comics, it's it's an he's just another agent with a flying car. Truth. <laughs> <laughs> I love yeah. comics. <laughs> that that can be a normal statement. But yeah, Avengers, good movie. Great movie, love it. All right. Number six is Captain America: The First Avenger. Yes, Captain this movie America, the first Avenger. introduced the best Marvel villain we've gotten. Yes, agreed. Agreed. All so all far. Agreed. Wrong. Okay, go ahead. We're waiting. Yeah, who's the who's go the ahead. best villain? Captain America. <laughs> okay. He's not even a villain. Get not a villain. A villain if you have okay, dumb uh, viewpoints. Iron Man. No, a villain. No, stop. <laughs> An actual villain. Kay. The Hulk when he's uh, hangry. <sighs> Somebody needs to give him uh, Snickers. <laughs> this oh, is brought to you, you by Snickers. <laughs> Snickers, taste the rainbow. Oh, that was a funny joke, man. Unexplainably juicy. Say... <laughs> <laughs> but pick the left one. No, Red Skull's cool. Shut up. <laughs> you, can't you, you stop, man. Just quit now. Red Skull's cool. Yeah, he's... He's all right. I like that actor. Also, I love any movie where America's kicking Nazi butt. So... America! America! Yeah. Yeah. So, and and that's such a... Um, it was a phase Introdu- one movie. Introduces Bucky Barnes and Captain America and... And it does the it. Howling Commandos. Mm-hmm. That's cool. Yeah. And you know, I like World War Two. Era, like in history, myself. One of my favorite eras, yeah. I think it's interesting. And I, I like seeing movies like that in World War Two. World War Two and the Crusades, so that's one of my two favorite. Yeah. Uh, I I thoroughly enjoyed it, and Captain America is very likable, because yeah. he's just a good person. So I think that, that was, he just d- always does the right thing, or what he thinks is the right thing. Which is always usually the right usually thing. Usually the right thing. Um, I think it was... A good movie because people were worried about Chris Evans coming over. They were like, oh, dude, you guys got Torch, the human Torch from the Fantastic Four movies. That's really who you're going to cast for this? And then he did a fantastic job being Captain America. They should have flame on. He's a pretty good He's a pretty good Captain America, but I think the swirling cloud from Fantastic Four 2 would have <laughs> been a much better Captain America. Yeah, that Jab it a bad joke. Uh-huh. I, w- I watched him in, like, a rom-com the other day, and I was like, you know what? It's funny how far, like, Chris Swirling Evans cloud? has come. You know? <laughs> like, h- like how far he's 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 come from, like... Was it the one with Anna Faris? It was not the one with Anna Faris. I, d- I don't know. What I, I don't remember the, okay. the chick's well, name, to be honest important, with you. Well, that's important, so let's keep going. <laughs> what were you saying? But it's just funny to see how far, you know, he's he's gone from, like, being in rom-coms and romantic movies to... Being a superhero that n- literally nobody liked, if you like Fantastic Four, you're dumb, I'm sorry, to being Captain America, which everyone's like, I love Captain America. Nobody liked us in the movie. The Fantastic Four is in like, the actual yeah. like, comics. They're good. The Fantastic Four movie was bad. Still fingers crossed that Still Marvel bad. has secretly paid $3 billion to get them back, but I don't know. Disney. We're, we all hope Come so. on, Disney. Come Give on that Disney, Disney money. Sell off ESPN. That's crap anyways. That's truth. And buy... By Fantastic Four. I forgot back. they owned ESPN. Yeah. And ABC and um, pretty much Everything. the chair you're sitting on, your soul. <laughs> uh, yep, that's Disney. All Great. the movies I enjoy. Yeah. Okay. Star Wars. Yeah. GG. But yeah, Captain Mickey America. Mouse. <laughs> Good women. Sorry about that. Keep going. 
Uh, All right, now we're approaching our top five. We're in the top five. Beep, beep, beep. Uh, <laughs> number five. <laughs> Why'd I do that? Number five is beep, beep, beep. Civil War. Captain America: Civil War. Okay, I just, I really like this movie. I like that all the characters are there. They introduce new characters. Spider Man shows up. Spider Man's great. Ant Man's funny. Black Panther's cool. This movie's fantastic. T'Challa is dope. What the funny thing is, this is number five. Oh yeah, like this is a fantastic this movie. Is a and fantastic this is our number five. Film and this is number five. This is basically like another Avengers movie, but but, it, but Captain America was yeah. like, I'm gonna tell you everybody in my movie. It's fine. It was the yeah. But yeah, it it really shows you how great Marvel movies are. That. Civil War, one of the best ones there, is just number five. It's, uh... Of our list. Yeah. Of our, this, yeah, of our opinion. Of our, list, you know. of our opinion, of our list. Uh, this movie has the number one most petulant child thing in it for Only me. Only annoying thing in the whole movie is I don't... The like conflict. <laughs> the conflict. Like, I don't understand why they were... F- like, I, I get why he was angry, but that At would a show point, progression if, like... At a point, you not have to understand. Fault. So... In this movie, uh, Bucky Barnes, the Winter Soldier, has been, uh, in the past and up until recently, uh, mind-controlled yes. by some other country's forces. Russia. Hydra. Yeah. Hydra. Hydra yeah, or something, Hydra. Yeah. yeah. It was Hydra. And so he was forced to kill Tony Stark, Iron Man's parents. Right. Well, when Iron Man finds out, he throws the biggest fit and tries to kill the dude. Hey, guess what? If you're under mind control, there's nothing you can do about it. I didn't do it on purpose, the, the, y- the you dingus. Whole, the whole movie is basically him stomping his feet. Captain you America, my dad. Captain America, trying to well, save his friend of doing the right thing and being like, "Hey, he's been brainwashed. Let me try and help him." He's trying to turn it around. Yeah. Yes, and that's why I just because in the movie he becomes a fugitive because so, I guess he the Sokovia he doesn't, Accords, the yeah, bombing, the thing. bombing happens. So Black Panther gets involved because one of his family members dies. So everybody's searching for Bucky Barnes when Captain America knows that it's not really his fault. He's yeah, he's he's, uh, he's n- hasn't been brainwashed. He didn't do any of this stuff, and he's getting better. But people still want to track him down because Bucky Barnes just got framed. So Captain America goes rogue, and is trying to save him. And Iron Man can't deal with that because some black lady's son died. Oh, yeah. You forgot about that. She shows up, like, underneath and it's like, this was my son. He died and you killed him, basically, kind of. Because he was in some foreign country. And, so, and some big piece work. of the... He was a real good boy. The, I don't... I understand. The, that, that was his main motivation made me angry. Yeah. Like, that was his main motivation until he found out that his parents died and then he threw a big fit. Then he was even more... <laughs> I understand how it's annoying. But, like, uh, yeah, it's dumb. Like, me sitting outside of the situation, like, yeah, it's stupid. If, but if I was Iron Man, I, I'm pretty sure I'd be mad. If I was, okay, because I'm a rational human being and Tony Stark is an egomaniac, I can think, wow, he didn't mean to do this because he had no control over himself. I shouldn't be if mad at him. Lucas, I should be bad okay, at yeah, him. Right. Right. If my right. good friend, if you killed if my parents and you didn't mean to, and... And you knew for a fact... And that, well, he knew... <laughs> you're making you it sound like he accidentally ran them over. Okay, I'd listen, be mad if they listen, accidentally ran him over. You know, since no. me and Tanner, listen, if Lucas was brainwashed and he killed mom and dad... Because he was brainwashed, and he was vouching for me, and I was and like, said, "But it's wait, not his fault. he was brainwashed." I'd be like, "Who brainwashed him? Let's, let's find him. Let's guys. kill him!" Right? I feel like he shouldn't have got angry again at the end of the movie. And he should have just the... moved on and helped him stop Zola instead of fighting. Also, again. he got beat up real good. Captain well, they America. all kind of got beat up. Well, real Captain good, America beat him up real good. But Iron they Man definitely fight. did cut off Winter Soldier's arm. So. Yeah, but Captain America won, bro. Oh, yeah, well, Those he definitely did that because he needs a mech suit because he has no powers because he's a trash superhero. That's true. Well, then you can say the same <laughs> thing for Batman. Batman just does uh, the same thing. He no, makes a suit. N- no, because Batman is only doing what he... W- doing does it Tony Stark have League of Shadows training? Yeah. I think not! Tony Stark couldn't even win like in hand-to-hand combat with anyone. I, I could beat him up. I, I could beat him up. I feel very attacked. I only need Captain America to help me here. Captain America wouldn't help you out because he'd be on our side and say, Iron <laughs> no, Man's a douche. being a rash. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, he wouldn't. He sent that letter at the end. He says, if you need me, I'm still here. So, I didn't like the villain yeah, in, this, fight him, in this movie. I thought the villain 
It was the same thing. It's like, oh, you guys, in Age of Ultron, you blew up my hometown. My family died while they were saving the universe. But but this is another thing that okay. I've rem- I'm remembering about this movie that's yes. upsetting me. Is Tony Stark is mad at everyone else in his life, all the other superheroes, for some people dying because of problems he created every single time. <laughs> it's his fault every single time that somebody dies. The Hulkbuster thing, his yeah, fault. That's why he, his fault. Listen, like that's why he wanted these Accord things, because he didn't want to do that again. He didn't want to mess up. He wanted to act within but limits. to save the universe, like... You have to step... Be casualty. Past he created that problem, though. He created Ultron. Yeah, like, that's so his that's fault. his fault, and that's why he should be stuck underneath that. But everybody else... Didn't do anything I wrong. Don't, I don't Everybody else just saved the universe, man. How are because they Because of his idiots. Like, if his they idiots. have... Okay, he's okay. Dumb. So before he's pre-Ultron, dumb. say they have the Accords pre-Ultron, and Tony Stark's feeling bad about, like, maybe the Hulkbuster thing happened before Hul- Ultron, and they killed some people. That was in Ultron. Okay. Just go with me here, man. I'm saying if they had the Accords before Ultron, and none of that happened, w- they wouldn't have been able to save the world. They wouldn't have been chasing down ultra. Wow, well, this is a stupid analogy, but if, if analogy. They, say if they were in, if there was another world threat and they were under the accord, the they wouldn't from be the first un- Avengers. They would not be able because they wouldn't be aware of what's going on because they're still the best crew. <laughs> um. Yeah, I don't. Yeah, I get it. It's just like, you know, I can. S- I understand why Iron Man did this whole thing. Like, I know why he's throwing the fit. And so it doesn't bother me as much. Plus, I don't really like absolutely hate Iron Man either. It's because you were in t- you were in Team Iron Man when that movie came out. You I know, know you, you know, I was. And I don't like you, social justice you warriors. Change Sorry. your mind. Sebastian Stan told you that okay, uh, okay, so you Chris, made a bad Caleb, decision. Chris Evans. Why may, would you do that? Chris Something Evans may stupid. be a social justice warrior, but Captain America was being. He's just a justice warrior. <laughs> was just being <laughs> straight up was telling the truth. If you're under like you have to wait, you're under the UN. Countries have agendas that oh, yeah. you have to wait until you the UN says you have to move. What I'm saying is every time that they've saved the world, it's been within like five minutes. What if there's a problem in uh, Russia and the UN, they're not, Russia's not trading fairly? The world's just in trouble because they're like, I'm sure at that point, there. hopefully Tony Stark will be like, okay, this is stupid, let's go. But no. Because but they, they can get arrested really easy. Because they're all under watch, apparently. Because half of yeah. them got arrested anyway. But they're not in prison anymore, so. That's why I like this movie, because they broke out. Yeah. So they broke out. Iron Man let him do it. Iron Man helped. Yeah, but he never should have put him there in the first place because he's a dingleberry. You know a whiny that dingleberry. That never should have happened. That's true. He should have you know said, what? you know okay. what, the Accords, you know at the what? end of the movie, the, the Accords, you know what? You know what? You know what? You know what? Civil War is a good movie. It's at number five. You know what, We're moving Lucas? on to number four. You know what, Lucas? It's a... Uh, you know what? Well... <laughs> <laughs> it's uh, Spider-Man Homecoming, which is came out uh, Thursday. So, I like this movie. I'm going to go over this really quick. It's a good movie. Young Spider-Man's cool. Aunt May's hot. Vulture was cool. Yep. Uh, better than all the Amazing Spider-Mans. Those suck. Probably yeah. tied with Spider-Man 1 for me. Yeah. I enjoyed this movie. I think the MJ that they have is stupid. And her name isn't even Mary Jane. It's Michelle. And she's a feminist. And that bothers me a lot. And that's it. Wow. Okay, uh, you made it sound like it wasn't that good, but it was. I I I gave it an eight out of ten. It would have been a ten out of ten if uh, like Zendaya was the worst part of that movie. Every scene, like her scenes, did not need to be in the movie. No, because you cut her out and it, it doesn't change anything. Does not change a thing. But I thought it was funny and interesting. Good. It's funny. Tom Holland. It's good Spider Man. Yeah. You know what I really liked about this movie though? Yes. They didn't have the to do Creek the fall. whole. Yes. They didn't have to do the whole, let's show Uncle Ben die again. Just like every other single movie. Let's show him get bit by spider. They didn't show his origin at all. They just talked about it for a second. Because they didn't need to. And And that was, I think think that's that's why it was so good. If they had had that, that that movie would have sucked That's good and bad. Because if you're... Why is it bad? Like, new people, I'm just saying, like, new fans and others. You don't need to know that. I know, but... They did explain it, though. Like they explain like, whenever yeah, he was I talking know. to Ned, he was I like, know. "I got the They, they talk for it for a second, but if like you're like brand new to movies and like superhero movies in general, and you don't know anything about Spider Man, they kind of like briefly touch on it, which is okay. But if you didn't know the origin story, 
then you I'm sorry. Google wouldn't it. know what was going on. But Google yeah. it. In the past 16 years, we've had I'm o- six I'm Spider-Man o- I'm movies with, okay with, them doing with the origin in four of them. Yes. So yeah. why show another? Well, I'm perfectly fine with them doing that because I know we complain that every Batman movie, they're like, hey, Batman Barrett's died, yes. he's dead. Yeah, dead. they've done that in every Batman movie ever. So I, I'm if okay. If he gets a solo movie, they'll kill him. I'm kill cool. his parents again. <laughs> it's like, yeah, for real. Again, they will. They are. I'm going to go off on a tangent real quick. <laughs> I just realized in every Arkham game, the Batman Arkham games, he always goes back to his da- parents' grave for some reason. All right, keep going. Sorry. Let's like, cry about it some more, baby. Yeah, for real. <laughs> this is the Marvel podcast when I have to ask sorry, you to stop. Sorry, 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 sorry. But I, but yeah, that's what I, I, I really like that that they didn't have to do like oh let's, go, let's show the whole orange again I'm like fast forward to whatever but I'm glad they didn't do that and it was funny it was good you know not gonna ruin anything since the movie came yeah. out yesterday nope. it was good or two days ago but like the movie it's fun go see it eight out of ten sorry I just pulled the MJ thing but that's that's it. <laughs> But I'm pretty sure everyone knew that. Well, they said she was going to be Mary cast, Jane. They said she yeah. was going to be Mary Jane. And when the movie like started, I was like, oh, so I guess she's, she's not, not Mary, Mary Jane. Jane. Oh, cool. And then they're Thank like, the Lord. Yeah, she's MJ. Uh, boo. If, if she was just normal. If she was a normal, just, just a character. Just and a Michelle. Character. And just like a normal human being. And just a character with different worldviews, I would have enjoyed it. <laughs> That's it. Keep going. Oh lord! Number three. Feminists aren't normal people. <laughs> <laughs> the, uh, it was just. Oh, hey, I'm gonna go protest. Okay. Yeah, why, that like, was why. Like, nobody says that. Nobody no. wants that. That's what they're pandering to audiences these days, and it's bad. At least That's, I don't want that. I don't yeah. want that in my movie because then I, if probably you have a different view, then that. Yeah, it that bothers to, me because nothing she does is of consequence. She says no. She's my friends are up there, and that's the one thing she says that matters. That doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Nothing she uh, she they just provides have that nothing. To have her. I know. So that's why it's eight out of ten. Yeah, yeah. Spider Man was good though. It was a good movie. It was really good. Yeah. All right. Up to our top three. Number Woo! three is Captain America: The Winter Soldier. Uh, yeah. My favorite movie. Of the MCU? Of yeah. the MCU, it's my favorite. Bucky Barnes, my favorite character. Set it up. We were talking about this earlier. It's the first like spy superhero movie. It, yeah, it really Captain opened the America's door for in it. different genres of superhero movies. Because we've seen more superhero movies and comedy superhero movies. But this was yeah espionage superhero movie. It They're was like, cool. it was different. hey, check this out. We're going to make a superhero movie. But it's going to be like a different genre of superhero movie. Yeah. I think it was cool to have somebody that could finally like go toe to toe with Cap because usually Cap had just been taking people out, and then you have that scene where he's like launching a shield and Bucky just like snatches it. It's like that's so dope. Oh, so Uh-oh. many Uh-oh. scenes in that movie are just fantastic. I know. You're just that like, was cool. Ooh, yeah, that's real cool. It's just like, and that he's so just good. Bucky Barnes in general is just like bad to the bone, and that's like my favorite character. So that's why that's my favorite movie. Yeah, I really like the mu- how they had that museum tie into it. And how Bucky went to that museum, and he figured out like, oh, I'm the yeah, I'm I'm, him. I'm that guy, yeah, because that's the the movie that like you see them like kind of become friends at the very very at end. Like very he end, real yeah. he remembers. He's they like, save each I'm other. Not, yeah. Why does this guy keep trying to save me? What's happening? And then he finally snaps out of it. And I can't wait until they're actually like, like they kind of do that in the Civil War a little bit. But I like, think if we get a next I, movie with Winter Soldier. Being uh, being I'm able to progress, I'm and gonna grow. call it Infinity War. Captain America is gonna die. Bucky Barnes is next Captain America. I'm gonna just. Say I could that see happens. that happening. I, I wouldn't mind would Falcon I being the next Captain America. No. Sam Wilson. No. Sam Wilson is extremely likable in these movies. I don't care what you say. Uh, He's extremely likable. Li- He's lame. I like him. I like him. He's Iron Man, except not as cool because his suit doesn't do anything worthwhile. He's Iron Man. Except not Iron Man because he's not a loser tool. Yeah, he okay. does. He's not an egomaniac. Sure, he's a nice guy and does the right thing. But bro, his superpower or whatever he does is lame, man. Uh, he's you, a, know, you know what? Th- I'm gonna you? move on past this issue because it's gonna uh, go on forever. If wait, wait a second. Are you disrespecting a U.S. Army soldier? <laughs> oh my gosh. Because <laughs> that's Next. what Sam Wilson is. Next. I appreciate your service, Sam Wilson. I'm sorry, but, but you're, um, you're, ba- so you're jetpack stupid. I'm excited. For them to come back, stupid, dude. and Bucky's gonna be in an, an Infinity War, 
And I'm excited to see like Iron Man and Bucky coming back face to face and seeing how that works out and whenever they have to work together to stop Thanos. Yes, Iron maybe um, like this, since Spider Man Homecoming, Iron Man. He seemed he's, a he's little seems bit more grown yeah. up about things. Yeah. I think so it's not going to be that big of a deal. Whenever maybe I, he'll I just think be, he's like, be like, "I'm sorry, I, I did that." You know, no, but they'll, like do like a, they'll do like a handshake, you know, and then he get might punched. he <laughs> might not. <laughs> hold on, hold on. This is what's going to happen in the movie. They're going to be fighting some aliens or something, and then Bucky's going to stop some dude from shooting Iron Man in the back, and then they're going to be like, "Bro," and they're going to shake hands, and they're going to be like, "We're bros now." And you know, then Thanos gonna, just actually, double punches them. That's that's not going to happen because Bucky Barnes still going to be frozen again. No, he's not. Yeah, he is. No, he's not. He's, he's not going to be frozen. He's going to be frozen until they're gonna they need him. him. Yeah, that's they're when gonna, they'll need him. Yeah, I bet Thanos is the most powerful thing in the universe. I bet he's going to get unfrozen at the end of Black Panther. I guarantee. Oh, that's a good idea. I uh, guarantee that's what's going to happen. Uh, that would be cool to see him and Black Panther work together. I don't think he'll be in the movie, though. That'd be cool, though. That would be cool. I'm excited for Black Panther. I just want them to play the theme music all the time. But yeah. <laughs> Go, Tanner. Yeah. Oh, no, I can't. Aww. I'm laughing too hard. All right. But yeah, Winter Soldier is a good movie. It's number three. Uh, up to number two. You go ahead and say because you have a cool name for him. Uh, Got Got Two. Uh, <laughs> it's <laughs> Guardians of the Galaxy Two. Uh, it's another movie that just recently came out. Let's just say it. Guardians of the Galaxy is like the best Marvel stuff. It it, it really is. is. Oh like, my goodness! Like you, they took something so like like well, who are the like being Obscure. not a, yeah. super into comic books, just like enjoying the movies into something that everyone loves. And it was just like, bam. My and, like, sister so knows who Groot is. You and, know like, these, these characters? You don't know anything about them at all? Bam. They're Chris Pratt. Boom. It, it's so popular that Disney made a ride in Disneyland for Guardians of the Galaxy. Like, that's how big like, they are. Yeah. It blew up, dude. It's uh, Guardians of the Galaxy 2 is w- one of the most fun movies to watch. And every character in the group grows and becomes... They become a team, Better. and yeah. I I just love those movies, man. I really do. Well, let, well, let's specifically talk about the second Sorry, one. Sorry, specifically the second one. Specifically, uh, Baby Groot and the best opening sequence of all time. That True. was I know awesome. we've talked about it on the podcast. Yeah, but that first sequence where they're fighting off that giant alien monster and Groot is so just cool. dancing. Baby dancing. Yeah, Baby Groot is dancing. It's such a fun like scene. It's so good. If any other character had like two or three minutes of them just trying to find random items, I probably would have been mad. Groot. It was Baby Groot. Wasn't mad at all. I was laughing my butt off. Yeah, it's if it was Drax dancing around trying to find stuff. Yeah, like, I'd have been stupid. like, why is hey, this? Hey, dumb. Uh, get it together, you idiot. Even like Chris Pratt, I would have been like, mm, okay. I don't know, but maybe. Just baby Groot. Well, that's how the Chris first Pratt one was. might be able to work it out. Yeah. That's how the first movie was. Yeah. Chris, it was yeah. just Chris Pratt being funny. Yeah. I... And the way they all grow as characters is they all really good. In both movies, specifically the second one, yes, they, they come together as a team in the first one. In the second one, they become, they find themselves in the team. Yeah, they become family because they're still they're still kind of like infighting a little bit, but they're still like infighting. But it's specifically like Rocket and Star Lord, and they're still kind of like not the best team that they could be right and in this movie i think they all just realize that hey yeah we're all family i think they grow into their roles and uh, both they experience something and it changes who they are and the, how they the look real at real emotions come out yes they look at who the other people in the group are and they th- we're family this is the best that i've got so yeah i gotta love them right. even if they are obnoxious raccoons Yep. Another thing I'm excited for in Infinity War is them coming to Earth or ha- however they join the Avengers, however that happens. I can't wait to well, see Tony Stark be like, hey, you're a raccoon. Yeah, that's what... Uh, what? <laughs> that's what's interesting is I'm not that yeah. the Guardians movies, Guardians of the Galaxy 2, takes place in 2014. Mm-hmm. So by the time we see them in Infinity War, it'll be three years. So. Really? Yeah. Yeah, it says it in the beginning of the, the movie. Interesting thing has happened in the s- end of the second movie. Just spoilers. Take a second. Take a second. Adam Warlock 
got teased at the end of Guardians of the Galaxy 2, and then in the comics, he kills Thanos, right? Yes. So What would be incredible to me whoop. is if Infinity War, they just show up with Adam Warlock, and he's just like a member yeah, of the they team. Right? Somehow. They're just like, they don't this explain happened, that. They and don't then Guardians that of the Galaxy yeah, the next 3 one? comes yeah. back and, oh. I want to see who that is, book. though. Dude. We need this to have a job. This is how it happened. This is how Adam Warlock became a Guardian. That's what number three would nice it'd be amazing voice, if they dude. do that. We need a job at Marvel or DC yeah, on I so. pitching uh, just I ideas. Yo, I can't, we came up with like a million good ideas for movies, so we, Marvel, we, listen to this. Uh, yo, trademarked. We, kind of. we, <laughs> I mean, I would say we could do DC just to make those movies better, but I want to work on the Marvel movies too. So, Yeah, I'd Both. work on either one because it'd be fun. Yeah. But I think we have some good ideas for them. So, uh, I know when the executives are listening. Kevin Feige, when you listen to this, hey, bud. Uh, <laughs> I still want to. I still want to use know our ideas. I guess who's going to be cast for him? For Kevin Feige? No, for <laughs> for, <laughs> Kevin Feige. for Adam Warlock. Like cast uh, things or things uh, that I'm interested in. It's Army Hammer. Guys. It's going to be Army Hammer. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> the the audio peaked. <laughs> oh my goodness! <laughs> Look at the audio. That was insane. Headphone, <laughs> headphone. This is a warning after the fact that it happened. I'm sorry about that. So let's move on from Guardians of the Galaxy 2 to our number one movie, <laughs> the first Guardians of the Galaxy. Guardians of the ga- Galaxy. Mm. That's one of my favorite movies of all time. It's such a good movie. I remember going to see that. On my birthday. On your birthday? Yeah, it was on my birthday. I remember it Just very well. loved everything about it. It was, was all like, the characters. Oh, this is so good. The soundtrack. The villain was kind of. Like, I loved was, the villain. He was, was a good villain. I. And then how they just like finished, the, the thing at the end. I know in like the bloopers they have like a dance off, and that also would have been yeah. acceptable for that movie. But I'm glad that they didn't do that. Yeah, I mean, well, he did kind of have a dance off. Yeah, just he still had a dance didn't off, dance but back. it was a distraction type yeah. of yeah. Which I thought that's perfect for that movie and those characters. Yeah, and they start out not together as a group, and then come together. And yep. also, that's the biggest we've gotten of Thanos was right. in that movie. Yeah, that's the biggest. That's the most we've seen him. Of yeah, the like overarching, over... It over breaks lurking. that one dude's neck, right? Uh, no, that, that, was, that? that was Ronan. Was it? Yeah. yeah. Ronan, yeah, Ronan hits Ronan. him with that hammer. He's like, uh, pew! Yeah, yeah. You're dead. You're right. I am not a child! <laughs> as Th- he throws a fit. Doesn't Thanos Shut just up, go boy. like... It's Tony Stark in the future. Yeah. Hey, oh! <laughs> Throwing I bits on every planet. Again. I'm sorry, audio. <laughs> I picked the audio again. I'm sorry. But it, I think James Gunn is extremely talented. I think he's a yeah. good director as well. Yeah. I think, I think he loves the stuff he does, which is important. That's very. important. I think he should have directed Infinity War rather than the Russo brothers. I I trust the Russo brothers can I mean, do yeah, a I fine do too, job. I'm just I think they'll do an okay uh, job. I think they should have done all three just because James knows how the Guardians work and all that stuff. And I think having him there would he been made it very funny and very good. Yeah. Do you want to speak uh, like a normal human being? You no, I, I peaked the audio twice. I don't want to do that. You're still anymore. peaking the audio. Though. What? You did it again. <laughs> oh my goodness! So speak at a normal. Okay, I'm sorry. Pace. Normal pace, volume. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. But that um. That is our top number one that we came to a consensus with was Guardians of the Galaxy. And uh, remember, this is all of our this opinions. This is just our opinion. So, But let us know um, and some of our opinions in the comments are different or whatever than other yeah, what others. you guys think, what we um, got wrong, what we got right. Yeah, m- actually message us on Instagram. We have an Instagram now. And t- let us know what your favorite Marvel movie is. We and, would. Uh, we would love, love, love to do a Q&A podcast sometime. We'd absolutely love that. So, yeah. well, Does that have to be a lot later? Yeah, drop those quiz. Dro- drop those quiz. questions. That so would be fun to you do. Can, um, you, can, you can just search Bedroom Sessions on Instagram. Or if you want to get more specific, at, our at Bedroom underscore Sessions underscore podcast. Wow, that's big. I just wanted it to be specific so pe- people could find us. Right, yeah. Right. All right, so now uh, you guys want to talk about some news? Random news! Incredibly outlandish. All right, Lucas, give us some random news. I've got some news. So we have a frequent (laughs) little uh, 
frequent visitor to the yes to the, the random, random news, news segment. Is it, is it our good friends over at KFC? It is our good oh friends over at KFC. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, good one, man. From love novels to but, um, what are we about to learn about today? From love novels to chicken in space. So basically, to to advertise their new fried chicken sandwich. To KFC, aliens? Yes. Okay. KFC thought it would be a good idea to put a fried chicken sandwich in a giant balloon that went to the stratosphere. Where it will float for the next four days, reaching altitudes of 50,000 to 80,000 feet. That's it. That's it? That's um, it. Definitely like the... It's floating in the stratosphere. I definitely like the romance novel sandwich. better. I want to have that KFC marketing <coughs> money where you can just blow money on ridiculously dumb ideas. You know what? That's a finger-licking good idea. That's probably <laughs> that's probably what they say, and then it's a terrible idea. Every they're time. probably all in the they office, come to like, the table. "Hey, uh, Jane, you got a new idea? Let's put chicken t- good. <laughs> we'll put chicken in spice, and then they put a chicken in space. Let's put our seven herbs and spices together to make a good idea. Hey, uh, Mary Jane, you got a good idea? Uh, my friends call me Michelle. Yeah, my friends call me Michelle. Let's have a no, let's wait, have, have a no fried friend. chicken sandwich doing some uh, slight protesting. Yeah. I think that'd be good. <laughs> Yeah, uh, what what is Chick Fil A's deal? Chick Fil A's. I'm sorry. Hey, I'm sh- sorry Jake. to <laughs> blaspheme you, Chick Fil A. Chick Fil A, we're so you sorry. You would never do something that dumb. You would just taste delicious. That's all you do, and treat me nicely when I go there, even if I am a pizza. So <laughs> he was killing it though. Yeah, but KFC, I don't, I don't get that. I don't get that. I don't know How, who, who's gonna go out and buy chicken because they heard that Wait a kind of sounds kind of good. <laughs> Wait a minute. What are you guys doing after this? <laughs> <laughs> They're chickens in space? Yeah. Yeah, let's see chickens now. I got to get a chicken. Get what, a make now. a make a good why did the chicken cross the stratosphere joke. <laughs> <laughs> that, was, that was literally so cringy. Oh my goodness. <laughs> that was funny. I liked it. Yeah. Why did the chicken uh, cross the stratosphere hey. uh <laughs> to lose marketing money and uh not really get that much influx of hey. sales? Nice. Nice. That was a good joke. I like it. <laughs> Proud. <laughs> but uh, KFC, get it together. <laughs> your your commercials are bad. I will say their love novel is really good, though. Oh, you read it? Okay. Yeah. Oh, cool. Yeah. Yeah, I bought the whole thing on Amazon. Mm-hmm. Oh, cool. Well, it was only one dollar, so. I, right? I bought the fifty dollars super deluxe edition. They came mm. with three chicken sandwiches. Signed by uh. In a stratosphere balloon. Signed by one of the ladies. <laughs> in a stratosphere balloon. <laughs> I'm killing it. Hey. Oh, wow. All right. Man. And then it was some good jokes there, <laughs> dude. Lucas. Woo! It might I'm be a back, first. Baby. You you were never here, but now you <laughs> now you you've Lucas arrived. Here, guys. Woo! He's this arrived. Good. This is, you know, uh, this is kind of similar to how I felt in the Iron Man 3 movie theater, I think. <laughs> That's similar? <laughs> yeah. Uh, I don't think so. There's nothing no, that's going to match that. No, it felt so much better than this. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Like, I like you guys, but when you make like 100 and plus people laugh, you, you're doing something good. Yeah. <laughs> that was a good movie. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> All right. Well, this wraps up episode eight. We wanted... Uh, I don't even know what I was going to say. We wanted to say we love you. <laughs> uh, <laughs> that's what we Thanks wanted. for listening to our podcast, even if you do it to solely make fun of us for it later. You, which is fine. Thank you. Um, so continue to share it with your friends. Uh, check out our Instagram, which is bedroom underscore sessions, sessions underscore podcast. Podcast. Our Twitter, which is bedroom underscore sessions. That sound bedroom right? underscore podcast. Underscore podcast. Oh, ho. oh, and man. um And, uh, and uh, for our 10th episode... We really want to do a Q&A for you guys because, like, 10 episodes are landmark. We made it this far, guys. So send in your questions on Instagram, Twitter. So Even on SoundCloud. There's a comment section on SoundCloud. Yeah. yeah. So you can check us out on SoundCloud or iTunes. You can subscribe on iTunes. You can or share that link if you want to. Or just text me personally at uh, uh, 8 one uh, <laughs> 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 uh-huh. awesome. But, yeah, thanks for watching Episode 8 of Bedroom Sessions. I'm Caleb. I'm Tanner. And we're out of order. <laughs> This feels so, this feels weird. We gotta start over. It's right. Lucas. Oh, this Oops. has been bedroom sessions. I'm Caleb. Do I go now? <laughs> you know you go now. 
<laughs> I know. It's Lucas. And I'm Tanner. I'm Raymond Darcy. We'll see you next time. <laughs>